A major title match is now set for Fastlane. I'm Matt Carlins, and this is just Pro Wrestling News for Saturday, March 6th, 2021. This update is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Results from Friday's New Japan Cup matches and New Japan Strong are straight ahead in this update. WWE. But first, let's get into last night's SmackDown. Daniel Bryan will challenge Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship at Fastlane. Bryan earned that shot by submitting Jey Uso to win a steel cage match on last night's SmackDown. Carmella is looking for a new sommelier. She fired Reginald last night. He later showed up at ringside during Bianca Belair's match against Shayna Baszler. Reginald tried to chat up Sasha Banks. Belair shoved Reggie down onto his backside, and then she pinned Baszler with the KOD. After the match, Banks slapped Reginald in the face. Banks and Belair are getting another shot at Jackson Baszler's women's tag titles. That match will happen at Fastlane. Murphy was back on SmackDown for the first time since early December. He offered to help Seth Rollins solve his Cesaro problem. Seth told him to, quote, get out of my sight, end quote. Murphy had a match against Cesaro anyway, but he lost via submission. Sami Zayn finally realized that there's something odd about Blake Christian being one of the cameramen following him around, although Christian was never referred to by name. Friday's NXT injury report said there is no timetable for Casey Catanzaro's return from injury. She revealed earlier this week that she suffered a partial PCL tear in her right knee. AEW NWA Women's Champion Serena Deeb is also recovering from a knee injury. She shared a picture of herself after she said she had a scope done on the knee. She vowed to, quote, be back before you know it. Tony Khan sounds confident that the huge AEW signing set to be revealed at Revolution will live up to the hype. I'll say one thing, it's one of my all-time favorite wrestlers. I uh, tip this on unrestricted, I tip the gender as a male. It's, uh, he's coming, he's gonna do great things for us. He's committed. That's Khan speaking on Busted Open. Khan on Friday also announced AEW has signed Captain Sean Dean, who's become a regular on Dark. And one more piece of news from Tony Khan. He told Forbes he's strongly considering holding more AEW pay-per-views on Sundays, specifically Double or Nothing and All Out. AEW is running a special Saturday episode of Dark on its YouTube channel tonight, starting at 7 p.m. 12 matches on the card, including Penta El Zero Miedo's return from injury, his first AEW match in nearly two months. Penta is also in the six-man ladder match tomorrow at Revolution. The winner there gets a shot at the TNT Championship on Wednesday's Dynamite. New Japan Pro Wrestling. The New Japan Cup rolls on this morning with three first-round matches. Sunday's show will have two cup matches, Will Ospreay versus Hiroyoshi Tenzan and Zack Sabre Jr. versus Gabriel Kidd. Tournament results from Friday, Hiroki Goto beat Taichi and Toriyano outboxed Bad Luck Fale. On last night's New Japan Strong, Leo Rush reversed an inside cradle into one of his own to beat Rocky Romero and qualify for the U.S. version of the New Japan Cup tournament. Filthy Tom Lawler also qualified, he beat the DKC. IWTV and a number of wrestlers are cutting ties with Synergy Pro Wrestling after learning the owner of that promotion is a registered sex offender. It appears this is the end of Synergy Pro, which had been promoting a show for WrestleMania week in Tampa. That's just Pro Wrestling News for Saturday, March 6th. Our next update comes your way tomorrow morning. Please rate, review, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our updates. I'm Matt Carlins. Thank you for listening. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.